Hello, hello, hello. Hi, it is me, Princess Green, and we are having um, Mexican food night. We are having Mexican food night here at, at home, and I just wanted to show you I'm frying up some homemade um, chips, but these are not potato chips. These are the plantain chips. So I'm gonna fry up some nice um, homemade uh, Spanish plantains. And I'm gonna coat them really nicely in just a little bit of salt and pepper. And we're gonna have those instead of the tortilla chips along with everything else um, that'll be cooking tonight. But I haven't actually shown me cooking the plantain chips because I very rarely cook them, but here they are and they are coming out really beautiful. So I'm gonna get them to a nice golden brown, kind of like that one in there where it's a little crisp around the edges. And then I'm gonna take them out and sift them in a little bit of light seasoning not much at all and we'll have homemade plantain chips a lot of people go to the store and buy plantain chips but you can actually make your own so there we have it we have some beautiful plantain chips over here and I also finished up my um, red beans um, and I did these red beans um, in a nice sauce in this sauce I did I put some um, adobo seasoning, which is a Spanish spice, but I did fresh adobo instead of um, out of the shaker. So this is fresh adobo. It has some bell pepper, onion, cilantro, and then I also put in a little bit of um, fresh salsa, and that's all cooked down in a nice tomato sauce. So those are our red beans. And I'll be showing the rest of the meal in just a little bit. I also made some um, Spanish rice so we have the yellow rice as well and we're gonna have ground turkey tacos see you in a little bit bye bye all righty hello 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 hi everybody it's me princess green and I am still working on a lovely taco dinner <clears throat> we are having Mexican night here um, at home and this um, that I have cooking right now is turkey it's ground turkey so I took some ground turkey and I added just a little bit of just a teeny bit of um, salt and pepper not much at all and I used um, a little packet of taco seasoning and I'm going on ahead and cooking this ground turkey on down. So, um, we are trying to make some dietary changes, eat more healthy, um, which I feel like we, you know, eat pretty healthy because I cook a lot at home versus eating out. Um, but we're changing up some of the foods that we're eating and the way that um, we're preparing them. And so I just decided instead of ground beef, I'll go ahead and do some nice ground turkey. So we're gonna be having ground turkey tacos. And so I just wanted to show just a little bit of how um, the turkey cooks up. And there's all different types of tacos you can make. You can make ground beef tacos, you can make fish tacos, shrimp tacos, um, you can do ground turkey tacos, you can even do cilantro sausage tacos. So it just depends on um, what you're trying to accomplish and what type of flavor you're trying to get. But I just went with a simple ground turkey. I did not add any oil to this pan, so it's just cooking down in whatever um, juices that it has on its own. And then I also um, just added that taco flavor and packet. So this is just about done cooking up. And soon we'll be putting everything together. It's just going to be so nice. Want some kind of like a, a healthy meal, but yet some fun food. You know, being able to assemble your food how you want. Um, with your taco and everything. It's, it's pretty cool. So 
we're gonna have movies, we're gonna talk, we're gonna laugh, and we're just gonna have a great time together, um, me and the family, and we're gonna enjoy some wonderful tacos, turkey tacos. So, I will, <laughs> I will be back, and we'll get it all put together. All righty, I am back. And oh, it's so exciting. We are having a fun food night. Yes, indeed we are. Uh, for those of you um, that are first, uh, it's your first time visiting my channel. My name is Princess Green and welcome to my channel. Please like and subscribe um, and just have a great time. So, we are having a nice Mexican food night. We are having tacos and we are having all kinds of different um, Spaniard dishes. And so I'm so excited about it. It's not often that I get to pull one together, but you know what? I said, I want some fun food. Let's have some fun food. Let's make it fun tonight. It's Friday, right? Woo! So here I have some very nice um, tortilla bread. And what is great about this tortilla bread is it's not your um, authentic uh, Mexican or uh, Puerto Rican bread. It's more of a keto bread. So it is very low carb. It's only 30 calories um, per piece and three grams of carbs and no sugar. So it's just, it's really beautiful. So I'm gonna enjoy having that. Normally I'll take a nice wet paper towel, put it over it, and then put it in the microwave for just a few seconds to soften it up. Um, is how I would normally do my tor tortillas. But these are pretty soft and pretty um, flexible and pliable, so they're ready to go. And then we are having, instead of beef, we are having some turkey, ground turkey as our taco meat. So I have the ground turkey meat here that I cooked up a little earlier, and it came out as well. Let me just grab a little fork, and it just came out really nice. I love using ground turkey um, as a substitute for a lot of different things. Um, and it's not, it's not bad in a lasagna or a spaghetti either. And as a matter of fact, ground turkey meat with taco um, seasoning makes a really good shepherd's pie. So that's another way that you can use that ground turkey meat. And then over here, this is the star of our show, or one of the stars, and it is our plantain chips. So this was a nice ripe plantain. When I go to the grocery store, I don't want it quite black because if it's black, it's, it's really ripe. Um, but I would use a black one if I'm doing a like nice whole slices of um, plantain and they would really be soft in the middle and crispy on the outside. But instead of using the tortilla chips, I made some plantanos which is plantain, fried plantain chips. So I made us some chips tonight. Um, and these were cooked down in a little bit of olive oil. Yep, I didn't use canola oil. I used a little bit of olive oil. And then while they were still nice and hot, um, I took them and I sifted them in a little bit of um, salt and pepper. And they came out just absolutely beautiful. You've got to sift them while they're nice and hot when they first come out of the oil in order to get whatever spice you want to stick. And then over here, I made some uh, red beans. I was going to do black beans, but I decided to go ahead and do red beans. And they were cooked down um, nice and slow. They've got a little tomato base around them. And they were cooked down with some uh, sofrito, adobo, and a little bit of salsa. So that's what they were cooked down in. And I made just a little bit of fried corn. Fried corn, basically just sauteed it um, in just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit of oil. And there they are, some nice fried corn. And 
here's my Spanish rice. I did a nice um, Spanish yellow rice and it just came out beautiful. If you're wondering, well, how do you get the rice yellow? Well, you take your white rice and you cook it down in some sofrito. And that is a spice that you can find in the Spanish section of your grocery store. And I cook this rice down in my rice cooker. And I cut up and a nice guacamole. My guacamole was a little bit more fresh than I wanted it to be. It wasn't quite as ripe as I wanted it to be. So it's uh, a nice fine chop. And then I kind of just tossed it around in some lemon juice and just a teeny bit of salt on it. And then sliced up a nice iceberg lettuce. And then I have some fresh cut tomatoes. I cut up two tomatoes and um, went on ahead and cut some chives. So I'm still trying to finish up some chives we here, here, have here at the house. And so the chives I just put right over the tomatoes. And for dessert, I have one of those lovely fruit trays that I love to buy. And it just kind of just makes everything just, you know, it kind of brings it all together. If you think about, you know, if I were eating in another country, we would be eating all fresh foods. Um, and maybe something from the sea and then maybe some you know fruit from an island just a nice way to just think about you know being somewhere different having fun and we are going to be um, eating Mexican style tonight we have all of these beautiful fixings and then when we're done um, we can enjoy some nice kiwi got some kiwi in there and some grapes some pineapple some watermelon For our toppings, we have a nice taco sauce, and then we also have our sour cream and our different cheeses. So, um, all of the things that we need to just really pull this meal together and make it really beautiful are all here. And I am just so excited what, about what God is doing for this year. And what He is doing is just, you know, just showing me the beauty of being at home and appreciating being at home um, and what it's like to just um, delve into life from a different perspective without all the rigmarole and the running that comes along with um, my profession. So I'm enjoying that break. It's been wonderful. And I am enjoying being at home in my kitchen. Once again, thank you for coming and you all... Alrighty, so I have this beautiful plate all put together for Mexican night and everybody's plate looks different and that's what's so much fun because you get to do whatever you want. But I decided to go ahead and on my um, taco, I did just a little bit of everything. You can see the layers in there. I've got some of the ground turkey meat, some corn, a little bit of the rice some of the beans and then I did some of the taco sauce with sour cream and cheese and on the side I have some of my rice and beans and my fried plantanos and so this is um just so much fun and we're getting ready to sit down and watch some tv and just relax and we'll be able to go back and forth and dig in on this for a day or two and it's just gonna be lovely this is what it's all about good times family times making great memories y'all have a wonderful evening bye bye